Hi everyone, in this video we will use for loops to get multiple numbers from the user, calculate their average and then display their average to the user. So I'm going to start off by declaring an integer variable called a number and I'm going to give it number 4 and this is so we can ask the user to enter 4 numbers. Now I want to also um, get the user entry so I'm going to store them in, an, in a data type of double in a variable called user entry. And this will allow the user to enter values with decimal points. And then to calculate the average, I need to also declare a, a uh, variable of type double. I'm going to call it sum. So this will hold the sum of all the numbers entered by the user. And the reason why we have to initialize this to zero is because when we calculate the sum, we are going to say sum is equal to itself plus whatever value is entered by the user. So by that, by the time the for loop ends, we have all the numbers being summed up together. So sum needs to start off with an initial value and we can do zero because that's what it starts with. And now I'm going to have a for loop and I'm going to have a local variable of type integer and I'm going to call this variable counter and I'm going to start off with zero and I'm going to make it stop until it reaches number four. Okay, and then I want it to add one at each round of the loop. Now, what this will do is it will loop when counter is equal to zero, then counter becomes one, then counter becomes two, then counter becomes three, and then when counter becomes four, this becomes false, and so the loop will not execute. It will step out of the loop. So although we started off with zero and we ended at three, but we still have four elements. So we were able to loop four times. So this works as we want it to. Now what I'll do is um, I'll ask the user, uh, or I'll actually I'll give the user a message and I'll say, um, and the message that I want is for them to enter a number. And I could indicate to the user which number we're at. So instead of saying um, when count is zero, I think it would be more um, user friendly to start off with one. Okay, then I'll have a colon and a space, and of course, terminate the statement with a semicolon. Then to get user entry, I'm going to use cn, and I'm going to store the result into the user entry variable which we created here or declared. Now, to calculate the sum, so I'm going to go sum is equal to sum itself. So on the first round, this has to have a value. Otherwise, we'll get some strange looking uh, number. OK, plus the user uh, entry, which is whatever value the user puts in. OK, now before we do anything further, it's good to compile this to check for any errors. It's always easier to fix a small program than a large program. OK, so I could put in some values and this accepts decimal values as well. And nothing really happens because we, we do calculate the sum, but we don't do anything with it. And that's what we are going to do next. So once we step out of the loop, now I'm going to display that to the user. Now I'll have a new line so that it won't be stuck to that last value. And then I could just basically display the average. Now we don't really have an average yet, but we can calculate, calculate it on the spot so we can do sum divided by a number which was number four okay and that's the number of numbers that the user had put in and i have an end line again just to make it look better now i just want to say that we don't really have a record of each number that was entered by the user but we only have their sum okay the only value that we have a record of would be the last value that was entered by the user so if you want to keep a reference of each number that is entered by the user, then we could create an array for that and store the numbers in it. And I could do a video um, to demonstrate this, perhaps my next one. So what I'll do is I'll put in the same values and we have an average of 3.45. Okay. Now if I um, do uh, 1.11, 2.22, 3.333, and so this works with double values. And if you wanted to display this to two decimal places, 
then we could use a function called um, set precision. Uh, precision, uh, yes, okay. And I can specify the number of decimal places. So let's say two. And this works along with the uh, fixed manipulator to apply the number of decimal places that we want after the point. Now, this is, um, if I want to use this function, I have to also include its library, which is the IO manipulator. So make sure you've got that. Okay, now I'm going to compile it and run it just to see that this is really given us two decimal places and nothing else. Okay, good. So it's working as expected. I hope that was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next video.